Hey, Exoticals. I am so excited for us. The Exoticals have officially united, and I am so proud and excited. Every single day, I swear, a new channel pops up with an, a new Exotical every day. I don't know what number we're on at this point, but as this video is recording, I'm going to just post screenshots of all the Exotical channels that I've seen, and if there you haven't seen your channel on the screen is because I probably haven't seen it yet. So please, please put your channel in the comments so we can all follow you guys and subscribe and repost your content so your channels can go up in the algorithm because, you know, it's important that our voices be heard. I had reached a million views the other day. I was like, okay. And I reached 5,000 subscribers. That's a milestone for me. It may be small for others, but for me, it's a big deal. I'm so excited. And on top of that, I finally got monetized. So I'm officially going to be making money off of YouTube content. I'm so happy about that. It took me forever for them to work with me. But, <clears throat> excuse me, but finally got them to cooperate. So yay for me, exotical tax. <laughs> so this safe, this is a safe space, and I love that we have this sisterhood. And I've always wanted to have a sense of belonging to something. Like I had to give you as far back as when I was in college. I wanted to join a sorority because I just wanted to feel a sense of belonging. I kind of always felt alone, even though I had people that I call friends. I only called them friends maybe because I saw them more of a friend than they actually saw me as a friend. It was kind of one of those things. And I still kind of deal with it today. I think I, I, have, I see people more as friends than they actually see me as a friend. And because of that, I've, I don't know. I felt alone even though I was surrounded by people. Let's just say that. So I wanted to join a sorority, and even when I joined one, I still didn't feel a connection with them. Um, you know, it was in, I didn't I didn't even hang out with them like that, even when I joined and everything. There's so many other examples of me trying to join some type of a group, a step team. I joined a step team when I was in high school, and you know we got along great. But I I only had my one friend that I feel like I could truly relate to. And when I think back about it, it's more of a cultural difference that we were able to bond with. Um, we, let's just say we weren't the hood girls in the group, in the step team. So I don't know, I just vibe better with people who grew up multicultural, I guess. So that's why this space is so, like I feel like I thrive in this space. I'm so much happier. My energy is different. I just, I'm so glad this space exists for us. Thank you, Exoticals United, for being the first ones to step up to the plate <laughs> because we all were thinking these things. We just never said anything. The only person I ever heard come close to talking about these things is Tommy Sotomayor. I used to listen to him before Exoticals United came out and very similar content. We talk about these things. I guess because he was a man, it came off the wrong way i don't know <laughs> he got banned i used to watch him all the time because i felt like he was the only one who got us as exoticals i don't know if any of you other exoticals watched him the only people who didn't like tommy were unambiguous black women and you know i may lose some subscribers from for saying this but you know i never saw anything tommy was just being himself I mean, you either got offended and you just didn't watch him no more or you kind of got what he was saying and you just listened. Because of Tommy, I went natural. The first time ever when I was in high school, I was watching him back then. He's the reason why I went natural. Not no other woman, not no other unambiguous woman, not my own mom. My mom introduced me to perms and relaxes. So, you know, Tommy may have come from a place of like, aggressiveness or whatever but he really was just trying to point the things that we're trying to talk about now and even us as a small community as we're growing and growing every day but we're, we're still you know we're growing 
but we cause so much commotion online these youtube streets these youtube streets cannot handle us we're not even we're anonymous and people got a problem with that it's like how in the world could i only been on youtube i don't even think it's been five months and i'm at a million views and i i feel like i reached 5,000 subscribers which is way more than I would have thought would happen this fast um the way my algorithm was moving for at first you know but you keep making content you keep you dedicate yourself to it you make sure you edit right you make sure your volumes are right because quality matters in a video more than quantity so you want to make sure those videos are sharp those thumbnails are sticking out too I have a whole channel dedicated to how to create you know better videos um how to make cute thumbnails like how i make them i have a whole exoticals editing channel basically for pretty girls so check that out so i'm just so thankful that we finally have a voice i don't know who's spiritual out there but y'all know it's the year of aquarius not the year of aquarius but it's aquarius season we're at the end of a 25,625 year cycle. Can't go back to the old world. We're leaving Pisces coming into Aquarius, which is a new change. Now also with the age of Aquarius, what you need to know is this is also exposure for people who have been doubted. You have been really sitting there putting in this word, they called you crazy, they said you were unrealistic, they said you was broke, they said you ain't never got shit together, they didn't want to help you, they didn't want to do anything, but this is the year that some people are about to really blow this out of the water. Those same people that had so much to say about you, they're about to approach you and want to have a come to Jesus meeting. Well, what you having to come to Jesus me when he ain't gonna be there anyways there are people who needed other people to help them and that was a test they didn't understand why they needed those people but spirit was testing them to see if they would be in a position to ask for help when they needed help because their load is about to be bigger not saying that it's not able to get handled it's just just going to be bigger and they're going to need a tribe behind them to assist them execute and you know I'm new to astrology, but I have been seeing it, witnessing Aquarius take over. Like, if y'all, for those who don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to break it down the best way I can. So, this is spiritual stuff. So, if you're not spiritual, you know. But the age of Aquarius is the astrological, oh, blah. <laughs> The astrological concept that refers to a period of time associated with hope, innovation, and major societal changes. So, so they say that the age of Aquarius is said to begin when the vernal equinox point moves from in front of Pisces to in front of Aquarius. So we just recently hit age of Aquarius. That just means that everything... All the underdogs basically are coming up. All of the people who were being dirty and like you see how P. Diddy is getting in trouble and all of these people are getting exposed. Cat Williams is telling on people um, or exposing people. I'm sorry. People are getting exposed. I don't know if you guys heard about the uh, SEOs that dropped out of Coca-Cola a lot of CEOs are stepping down from their businesses and things like that. I think a DNA test company, three of their, I think their entire board resigned all at one time because of this whole Diddy thing. Basically, the year of age of Aquarius is where all the underdogs are basically getting their revenge is probably the best way I can put it in layman's terms. It's the revenge of the underdog era pisces was all about religion and all of that stuff so for the last thousand years it's been the age of pisces so now we're at the age of aquarius which just means that everything's getting exposed i don't know if you guys noticed the churches are getting exposed within the, the age of aquarius so they say it the age of Aquarius began on the ver vernal equinox on March 20th, 2021. 
So ever since 2021, if you've ever been paying attention to the news, how people are getting exposed and Hollywood's getting exposed, you know, the whole Nickelodeon uh, situation where all the uh, children are now adults speaking out what happened with, you know, being essayed by these directors and stuff. So, and then now the exoticals are, we've been silenced our whole life. So now that we're getting up in the algorithm really fast, we're getting our voices heard because it's the age of the underdog. Not to call us underdogs, but the way the black community has treated us is what I'm talking about. How we weren't even allowed to speak about our issues without people making us feel some type of way about it, whether that's guilt or are they trying to humble you? Or they think you're being stuck up? How dare you have? Pre- how dare you be pretty and have problems? You're not even allowed to talk about it. You're not allowed to love your skin that you're in if you're light skinned You're not allowed to be proud to be light skinned at all. Um, you're not allowed to talk about these things. You see, they try to ban Tommy, and they trying to get. Um, they keep trying to troll us and humble us but it's not going to work. All we're doing is talking about our experiences and we're in our own spaces. Y'all coming on on to our channels and clicking on the videos. So y'all can only be mad if you guys listen to the content and watch it. If you don't like what we're saying, if you can't relate to it, if it offends you, don't watch it anymore. I don't know what else to tell you. If it's popping up in your algorithm, I, mean, I don't know, go and make a new channel and start a new algorithm. If it's that serious, <laughs> I'm just saying there's solutions to things. Okay, but yeah, I'm just ranting now. So I'm just glad we got a space for us, a safe space for us. But let me know how you guys feel, what you guys been up to. I'm trying to get back on here post more often it's just been working all week it's been hectic at my job all week so i'm finally about to be off the next two days and i'm gonna just be editing videos i'm so backed up with content i got so much content to make uh, just gotta get my rest on so i've been asleep i missed the live last night on exoticals had i was mad i went to sleep early i'm so tired y'all <laughs> But I'm going to catch the next one. So, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for listening.